you want to do this, Jake? Looks like you want to fucking do it. Hi, welcome to Linear Radio. Uh, today we are talking about Dragon Ball Z. Um, He's ve- Jake is very passionate about this, and he was immediately like when he saw it, we're gonna talk about that. We're gonna talk about it right now. So we, we, we where are we uh, where are we going with this? Um, well, I guess we'll start off with a huge debate. There's a huge debate. Whoa, with me and a lot of my friends. That's <laughs> right from the start. Yeah. Um, I think Dragon Ball Z should have ended after Cell Saga. I think a lot of people think it should have ended at some point. <laughs> <laughs> what are your thoughts, Tom? Um, let's see. Let me let me get my time periods right. So after Cell Saga was Boo, right? Mm-hmm. I believe that you are a hundred percent correct. Yeah, <laughs> that's where I was like. Because then, because then, yeah, because then after when Boo rolled around, they nerfed they nerfed Gohan. <laughs> <laughs> nerfed. Yeah. Um, yeah. I did like the introduction of Fidel mm-hmm. as a character. Yeah. And that, like, she's, like, not as sophisticated as a fighter and all this crap, and then she kind of learns how to fly and be kind of a badass, but then they nerfed her back to being kind of, like, a Yamcha as character. <laughs> and then just all the bullshit that ensued, and I wanted Hercule to die, and he didn't die. And I, it, think, I think, like, the biggest heartbreak is how much Akira Toriyama ruins go on for me. And then he builds it back up and then ruins it again. When did he build it back up for anything? When Gohan got back from training with the Kais. I gotta tell you. No. I gotta tell you. I was done by that point. Because here, <laughs> you know how no. him, him training with the Kais was a lot worse than Goku ever making a spirit bomb. For <laughs> he sat there forever getting something unlocked, I guess. Well, I the know. fucking dude read a comic book. I, he read a comic book the whole did time. Did you see the fight between Gohan and Boo before yes. Gohan got tricked? And how he was owning Boo? Yes. I don't even remember that. It was Gohan's unlock potential times too. Mm-hmm. Because oh, oh. back when like they're on Namek and oh. fucking... Ah, oh, damn, I was going to use fucking... Uh, you're talking about, like... Didn't for a little bit on Guru. Namek. Guru um, uh, did the unlock potential. Yeah, he, he, yeah, there's always they're always doing that. All these mystic types are like, ooh, we're gonna unlock your potential. But they do it like a few times, so what? Does it just increase the next number of potential that you could possibly have? Couldn't you in theory do this infinitely? Like why could you not do it infinitely? What a huge plot hole I just discovered for myself thinking about this. Well the only ones we know of in that series are like Namekians and Kai's, right? Are there any others? It, it doesn't matter. It doesn't bullshit. matter. It's random bullshit aliens. <laughs> <laughs> because you could just fucking do it, right? Yeah. So each time they do that, mm-hmm. in essence, they could just do it again. Because how do you just max out the little kid's potential when he's just a little kid? That doesn't even mean. What, what does that mean? <laughs> they didn't even put it in context of what it means, for one thing. It's kind of like the whole power level. It was a thing, and then it's like, gone, yeah. gone. Yeah, the power, the power levels were supposed to be pointless. <laughs> well, apparently so is their potential, because it means fucking jack shit. <laughs> but we can I, just up and jack shit whenever we can, just so just I, so it seems like they're going to be badasses, and then they get to the fight, and then somehow things at the table get turned on them, and then they have to oh, do it all again. Then, then, Fuck me. Then there's the hyperbolic time chamber. Oh, yeah, and for some reason <laughs> you can only get in it twice in your life? What? So who, if you, so who if made you, that rule? So if you die, you can come back to life and do it again. <laughs> <laughs> that happens. That happens. I I liked how like um, I love power how... levels didn't even like matter because I mean that was, that was cool. What like, rules? Like like power power levels just didn't matter. I liked that. I you are that cool. you are trying to regress back to something that was cool in, a, in an ocean of things that we just put out there that were stupid and didn't make it. <laughs> but. And, I hate to, you know, you know, I gotta say it. I have to say it. Dragon Ball Z is another one of those shows that people only like it because they watch it when they were kids. Do you still not like Dragon Ball Z? I, eh, I gotta tell you, I think the reason, it, another reason it was so popular among people who may have been older too, is it was just like the first anime they saw. The the real diehard people saw things like Akira, and that was some real shit. That was some real shit. Um, 
and it's just like here you have Dragon Ball Z, and it's just like it's it, it's kind of like the the Japan equivalent of um like the bad superheroes that are like when I say bad superheroes, I mean superhero stories that are developed as if they're like you know fucking wrestlers and shit. Like, <laughs> say, you know what I mean? Like you look at actors like that are wrestling. Muscles. What? Like Ultimate Muscle? No, no, no. Like actual wrestlers, like WWF, like storyline, like the rock, with the Rock cooking type stories. Oh, that, yeah. That has been an analogy I've heard before about superheroes because they wear costumes and they do all the shit, and it's like you know sometimes stories like some superheroes can end up like that, and I feel like this is that's Japan's equal to that. Not that just not to say that um it's the same evolutionary tree, but it definitely develop similarly to that and then you have all of this just bullshit that erupts out of it it isn't i believe the story of dragon ball z is um remember that story that we heard about it's like um the monkey king yeah that's, that's what it's about that is like a right so how the fuck does the monkey king lore ever play into fucking fighting a pink marshmallow man <laughs> <laughs> when did the when, <laughs> when did the when did the monkey king fucking go to an alien goddamn planet and fight an alien from another goddamn planet? The <laughs> big marshmallow man. The liberties taken with the modification of this story, I gotta tell you, are pretty extreme. I I think like early Dragon Ball Z was really good. You, I'll give you that. I'll give you that because that is what I started watching. I I I started getting involved like. When Goku's training and his bad guys are coming, I'm like, what are we going to bad guys are coming? What's going on? And they show up and fucking up. His fights erupt, and I'm like, oh shit, this is getting intense. And Sa- then, Saiyan Saga and Namek. And, and then Planet things Namek. started going downhill. After Planet Namek. Really? I started, sort of, I started in sort of. the Frieza Saga. No way. Yeah, I was like 10 or 13 or something, and I was just like, what is this? And I just watched let me it. Tell you, let me tell you something that really, I guess, was good in hindsight. And at the time, well, no, I guess not at the time. I was pissed at the time. They didn't kill Vegeta. And I was like, fucking do it! Just <laughs> do it! What are you doing? It'll be the worst mistake you've ever made! And well, it turns not, out that it is literally not the worst mistake they've ever made. If they had killed Vegeta, then they probably not, they would have lost, I guess. They would have died. They so would have died, times. yeah. Yeah, Vegeta saved the day a lot. But that, that's not what Goku is about. Goku is not about killing people or... or he was, because he... It was... doesn't matter that that's not what he's about, because he's fucking stupid. Because he got his head <laughs> on a rock. <laughs> what? Yeah. Oh, is that... You're talking about, like, the very first... I'm talking... Well, yeah. I thought you were talking about, like... Didn't doesn't he, like, punch through a guy in Dragon Ball? Doesn't he pu- that happen? He, that punch, happens, right? he punches through, uh... King Piccolo. King Piccolo. <laughs> yeah. He, can't, he punched through another guy that was actually human. No, he did it. I'm pretty no, sure he no. did, didn't he? No. Whatever. Rodrigo, have you... You know what we're talking about. Just put a screen cap in there if that, if that happens. Anyway, <laughs> if it doesn't happen, whatever. Point is, he totally fucking killed King Big Piccolo. And here, here, King Piccolo didn't even kill any of his friends. Here, here's Vegeta. No, because he sent people to kill his friends. Yeah, Krillin He's, died. Yeah, oh, Krillin died. <laughs> he sent some random wizard wing asshole guy that looked nothing like Piccolo. That's but he said he's his kid. It's just some random dinosaur bullshit, oh, okay. dude. This is my kid. Go kill him. And then there you go. Well, Krillin's dead for the first time ever. And then the Krillin count started. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, here here Vegeta is. I know he's not necessarily murdered anyone by his own hand, but oh. he is a very much one of the people responsible for, um, let's see, one, two, three, four of his friends being dead. Just let him go. Just let him go. Fuck me. I know. It's uh, just. I. It's just. What, it's wait. Which stupid. one? Which one? Other than Nappa. I only know of Nappa. Which... Nappa is not one of Goku's friends. Oh, I thought you were talking about Vegeta's friends. Yeah. That was like. No, 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 no. One person. Vegeta doesn't have. Friends. I'm talking about fucking <laughs> Yamcha, Tien, uh, Chao Su, and Piccolo all died in this fight with these guys, and it's like. He's a good guy. Huh? Just let him go. <laughs> just let him go. Yeah, whatever. Um, it's just, just Goku's motivations are stupid. <laughs> He's not even a hero. He's a selfish prick. I want to fight him at his best. 
No! You want to fucking defeat him before he kills everybody, you fucking asshole! You're the strongest fucking asshole in the goddamn <laughs> universe, and you want to make it worse for everybody! Protect us! God damn! I could agree with that. I like uh, I like how Goku like admits to everybody that he could have beat Majin Buu way early on, but he let it get out of hand. Like, oh. like, like he wanted to like take him on in his bed. So like your ass. <laughs> yeah. Like, but didn't your wife get eaten because of that? Yeah, and like the whole. Oh the my whole... god, that was the best thing ever. Uh, no wait, no no, he didn't get. She didn't get eaten. She got stomped on as an egg. Or no, she didn't. But I thought you said that she got turned into an egg and then Majin Buu stomped on her. No, he ate her. He ate an egg? Yeah. Doesn't seem like Majin Buu behavior. I think it's no, no, shit. no, he ate her. I don't think he turned her into egg though. Which to me I, I like because that's like revenge for Gohan not being as strong as he should be. <laughs> like how? Because she's the reason that he like didn't. No, save. she's not. He's a <laughs> pussy. <laughs> <laughs> they. He made his own decisions to be a certain way, because, honestly, like, it's not like his dad was any goddamn role model to become the strongest fucking person, because he let everybody get killed and shit, so why would he even want to follow his dad's footsteps? His dad's an idiot. <laughs> so you think there should be an alternate universe where Gohan doesn't follow? He doesn't follow his footsteps. Yeah, if like if you go by like Trunks Pass and fucking everyone's dead, Gohan's all badass and shit, and then he like loses his arm because he's like by himself because everyone's dead. But yeah, <laughs> whatever. Just bad. Whatever. Uh, that's that's one thing I I did like about like Cell Saga and stuff. I I did like Trunks a lot. I like. Oh, it was the best. Yeah. It was the best. Well, well, I love get, well hold on to your <laughs> fucking pants, because here's <laughs> one question that will fucking ruin your day. If <clears throat> the timelines operate on this tangential timeline theory that they're going, the Trunks is going to go from past A to past B that will have a separate timeline, warn them, go back to future A, and then be like, hey, you know what? I'm going to go back and help in timeline B. Shouldn't be fucking possible, because that would just send him back to timeline C, that's a goddamn third timeline. How can he do that twice, not save his own goddamn future? There is a third timeline, though. Fuck me! And what then, are you talking then, about? At the end, he goes back to his timeline and kills the androids. Okay, yeah, okay, there's, okay, a, there's a timeline where Trunks goes back and he dies by Cell immediately. There's another timeline um, where Trunks, yeah, he goes back and, and fights and like no, gets revenge. Okay, <laughs> you're, you're, I, I see what you're talking about, yeah. but you're not getting my point here. Okay. Like, the, the tangent of the, the temporal universes means that if he goes back into the past, he goes back into another timeline's universe because he's altering events. That future's events will never be the future that he goes back to. He'll go back to the future he came from. To, to, so the paradox doesn't happen, right? Are you following me here? So this means if he goes back a second time, the future, the past he goes back to will not be the same he already went back to and changed to Vincent. Is there no way to get back to it? There shouldn't be. And there's, I mean, there's no reason why there would be. Yeah. Is the thing is there's no explanation for that, and I have like, trust me, I've given some thought to my time travel things because, as you know, I am a big Doctor Who fan, and also, <laughs> and also, also many time traveling movies where things work a certain way based on what rules and your Terminator. Oh, you can't even change the future. Fuck you. Like that. I was like, Back to the Future probably has the best time rules that exist for me in tangential universes and how that works and falling back in on each other is a thing right if this was according playing playing to the rules of back to the future it'd be possible but then the future that trunks would go back to would be altered by his things that he did in the past but not necessarily him he would still be the same but was the future not altered because the no. future that he traveled to was altered. He did. He realized the androids that he saw 
weren't the same androids from his past. But that didn't make any sense. <laughs> there was no explanation for that ever. <laughs> no one ever talked about that, and there's no reason Wait, for it to for, happen. Uh, Dr. Duro? Yeah. Androids? He never even saw Dr. Duro or Android 19. And for some reason, this just fucking happened, right? Yeah. yeah. No one ever explained that. No one knows why. It's just like a thing. And then there was Android the 16. Fucking. And then another fuck you to the audience. <laughs> Everyone was says Horror Toriyama is super brave. Whatever. He's just flipping us off from Japan. He's like, <laughs> they'll like this. <laughs> they'll fucking buy it they'll fucking buy it he's just raking it in raking it in he's got his own goddamn herb garden and shit <laughs> what? fuck me but, what else is he gonna spend it on well I'd have an herb garden I do know that he did not make anything he had nothing to do with the whole bullshit GT thing I don't even want to talk about that yeah. whatsoever it was... I think we all know that that is a black spot on the blacker yeah. spot that is Dragon yeah, he had nothing to do with that. He was just like, okay, it was just some fan thing. I'm pretty sure he approved it. He approved, pretty sure he was like, he approved it. I'm but pretty he, sure he was like, this is really great. Idea. You guys are really no, like, it. He, he was just like, it was a fan thing because I remember when I was like 13, like you know how they had the Dragon Ball Z magazines. Yeah, they had like. Super Saiyan. Fan fix in the back. Yeah, like Super Saiyan 4 Goku and all this stuff. And I was like, what is this? Like, because there was nothing of that. Because it was still, like, what was it? It was still Cell Saga and all that stuff. Like, there was no Boo. There was nothing. I think it was, like, about to, like, have the Boo Saga. Mm-hmm. But there was still no such thing as Super Saiyan 4. There, there was, still like, is no such thing as Super Saiyan there, 4. Sh- <laughs> there was, like, drawings. <laughs> oh, there's Super Saiyan 5 now. There was, like, drawings. Of su- yeah, there's drawings of oh Super Saiyan 5. There's drawings of Super Saiyan 3 Vegetas. And I was like, I was like, that's cool, I guess. And then GT happened. So I was is like, anyone going to talk about that thing. new movie? Oh, Battle, Battle of the Gods? Gods? That's gonna be. Did anyone else feel once again insulted? I haven't watched it because I felt personally insulted. I haven't watched. I watched about half of it. I I felt. I I felt like Toriyama came to my house and just shit my sink. (laughs) (laughs) It was just like, well, it's not the worst place to have a shit in your house, but you're sure as hell not gonna know what to do with it for a minute. I thought you said you liked Battle of the Gods. I think you're thinking of Carruthers. Yeah, he liked Battle of the Gods. Of I course he fucking did. Because he was bought in at an early age, and he's, he's buying it, he's buying it. Fucking Jurassic Park, they're selling it, they're buying it. <laughs> fucking Jeff Goldblum came in here, Toriyama, and they're selling it. They're selling it. I I thought it was, from what I saw, I thought it was really cool. That's just me. I want Let me get, wait, 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 wait. Like, for no apparent reason, like, the, the Death God or whatever fucking... You know, he's the god of chaos, I believe. God of chaos. I think he's just god. No, he's the god of chaos. Oh, I heard he was just god. And he's known for destroying shit. It's all of a sudden, for no reason, not going to destroy shit, because Goku fought him, and he's like, I'll destroy this planet. And he destroyed a piece of the planet. He's like, there, I destroyed a piece of the planet. (laughs) Ha ha, that's what I meant. Like, fuck (laughs) you. (laughs) What? Fuck you. That's literally what happens. Goku loses, right? Which was supposed to be, I'm sure, some kind of, like, inspirational fucking message that... Oh, you can't win them all. Like, ripping off Bruce Lee quotes and shit, because that was something Bruce Lee was talking about. And, like, it it was just a huge smack in the face, because then Goku was like, Oh, I was only going about 80%. And, like, what? <laughs> yeah, yeah, Goku loses. He doesn't go all out. He fucking loses because of that. I heard and another goes... thing is, he goes, he gets the Super Saiyan 5 or 4 or whatever. I heard it was like God mode or he something. He gets God mode. Yeah, it's... Super Saiyan God. Which, whatever. Wh- wh- how is that 80% then? No, 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 because he only used 80% of his power in God mode. He only exerted himself like 80%. And not only that, he needed four other fucking dudes to do it. And, like... It's like, hey, I thought you were gonna fucking save us. You didn't even fucking win. So it was just dead. <laughs> so we're just... fucking dead. Just take take a moment aside here. So was this, was this like a spirit? What did I just thing? say about taking a side here? Let's hear this. Let's hear him out. Literally, literally, <laughs> the fate of the world, as far as they know it, hangs in the balance, and they put all their cards into fucking Goku and not fucking Vegeta. Because I swear to God, I don't think Vegeta would be like, oh, I want to really have a fun time fighting this guy that's going to kill all of my loved ones and 
random ass people I don't even know. And then they put it all in the fucking Goku. And he doesn't even try. He doesn't even fucking try. And he loses. That's it. That's the world. Everything. <laughs> <laughs> like, I mean, no matter what, who you are, no matter if you're fucking nihilistic Rodrigo listening to this right now and thinking whatever he wants to think about the world or whatever, your you're sum total of your entire existence hangs in the balance, and the guy that you put all of your fucking cards on is like, I didn't really try uh, as best I could. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> you are the biggest fucking... You deserve nothing. You are not a hero. You're a piece of shit. <laughs> Goku, piece of shit. I could agree with that. <laughs> <laughs> Just what a huge smack in the face to everybody. Especially the viewer. Wow. And it doesn't even make sense to his mother, the, the, whatever. I could I just keep I could keep going on. I could. I you could just don't, keep don't smash this any harder for me than you've already smashed it. <laughs> <laughs> See this bread? Smashed it. <laughs> bread? Yeah, you're buying bread at the store and then like it's going down the conveyor belt. <laughs> oh you smashed my bread. Oh, oh and it's like there's something stopped at the end of the conveyor belt. Yeah. And you're like, are they gonna pick that up before they they're they're not getting to the right thing? And like their LOS, they can't even see the bread, so the bread hits the thing. And another thing. No, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Another thing comes behind it, and it's still more on the conveyor belt, and it's and it starts squishing, and it doesn't stop. And then the person that is buying the things doesn't do anything. They yell at the cash register, me. Oh, okay, my, my okay. Bread. We're getting a little real. We're my bread real is getting opera. smashed. But that's how it goes for everyone who's attached to me. Thanks. All right, well, we hope you've enjoyed this wonderful installment <laughs> of uh, GeekCast. Uh, join us again next time while we yell about more things, probably. <laughs> <laughs>